The reconfiguration of distribution networks is defined as rerouting of supply to the buses in a feeder and or transferring of loads among the feeders in the network to minimize the power losses. This is accomplished by adding new feeder segments interlinking the buses of network and opening the existing feeder segments to maintain radiality of network. The prerequisite of reconfiguration study is load flow study. Now, let us see how to perform this study using Power DMS software. To perform this study, user has to select technical loss reduction from the main menu and has to select reconfiguration from the available submenus. After selecting reconfiguration study, study detail screen appears and user has to select balanced load flow study as base study and study code is automatically incremented whenever a new study is conducted. By default, the study description shows related study name and user can add additional information if required. The load flow study date will be displayed as network date and after entering this information, user has to click on OK to proceed further. Then select feeder screen will appears. In this, program will display all the feeders whose load flow study is performed in the base study. Here, user can select single feeder or multiple feeders. Generally, reconfiguration can be done within the feeder or between the multiple feeders. Here we are selecting single feeder to reconfigure within the feeder and click OK to proceed further. Then network simulating screen appears. As we are selecting single feeder to reconfigure, user has to digitize the links within the feeder. In order to digitize the links, user has to click on digitization panel. Then click on Start Session to digitize. This is the proposed link established within the feeder and click end session. With this proposed link digitization is completed. After proposing the link, user has to click on technical loss reduction and reconfiguration to perform the study. After completion of this study, network statistic appears showing before and after the values of electrical parameters like active power, reactive power, apparent power and losses and percentage of improvement. And click OK. The user proposed link which has been accepted by the program will be shown in pink color on the map. To generate the report for this study, user has to select reports and then technical loss reduction and select the reconfiguration report. This is the report and these are the network details. After that, the proposed links with the program accepted status and the links which are rejected by program are shown. In the comparison table, details about loading, losses with percentages and voltage drop percentages will be shown before and after. In the financial analysis table, it will display quick cost benefit analysis that is rate of return and payback period of proposed improvement. In the estimate details table, it will show the estimated amount by separating material and labor cost. After this, the load flow results will be presented with the proposed reconducted network.